The book we're going to read today is, this is a, you see crossed out squirrel, taco. Love this book for so many reasons. I love that it's like, in one way, it's trying to just be a serious book about giving facts about squirrels. And then the character in the book obviously loves tacos and like changes the book around and all. And I think it's one of those books where like adults can enjoy it, kids can enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy it. This is a taco. This is a taco. Hey, need a squirrel for your book? I work for peanuts, but I prefer tacos. This is a taco, written by Andrew Kangolis, read by Miss Moody. This is a squirrel. Hi, my name is Taco, because my favorite food is tacos. I'm really excited to be in this book. I can't wait to help you learn all about squirrels like me. Squirrels are some of the cleanest rodents in the wild. They're known for having silky, soft fur. Gotta give me some credit to my prairie dog, pal. Garbage. He's my stylus. Hi, my name is Garbage, because my favorite food is... Save it for the prairie dog book. This book is about squirrels. Squirrels love to eat nuts, acorns, and even tree bark. Tree bark? I was told there'd be tacos. It's kind of the main reason I agreed to be in this book. Squirrels can pack large amounts of food into their cheeks to transport back to their nest. These aren't tacos either. Squirrels can rotate their ankles completely backwards. This allows them to climb in any direction. Squirrels are great tree climbers and love to jump from branch to branch. I'm scared of heights. I live in a bush. Some squirrels, called flying squirrels, can glide through the air for distances over 150 feet. You got the wrong squirrel. My cousin Barry is the flyer in the family. Ah! Then they glide gently to the ground for a graceful landing. Wham! The hawk is the natural predator of squirrels, swooping down from the air to swipe them right off the ground. Uh-oh. Whoa, time out. This book needs fewer hawks and way more tacos. And when I say fewer hawks, I mean zero. The... The boom. That was awesome. I wonder. The taco is the natural predator of tacos, swooping down from the air to swipe them right off the ground. Now that sounds more like it. The taco is the natural predator of tacos, swooping down from the air to swipe them right off the ground. Taco hungry for tacos, swoop time. Who invited this guy? Hey, salsa breath, you're in the wrong book. The taco is the natural predator of tacos, swooping down from the air to swipe them right off the ground. A giant taco? Sheesh, he's lucky I have a rule about eating things with faces. Taco, the squirrel, and not the actual giant talking taco, is the natural predator of tacos. Now that's what I'm talking about. Squirrels are great eaters and can eat their body weight in tacos in just a day. Kids, remember, if you want tacos in your story, then you make sure they are tacos in your story.